Hello everyone and welcome. You know, a few months back I did a review of a laser digital distance measuring device, or a digital tape measure. Now that device was a nice unit, but it was mostly made for interior measurements and was not very good for using it outdoors. Now if you've ever tried a laser measuring device outdoors, you know how difficult and frustrating it can be to find the laser in the bright sunlight. Well, I think I found a solution for this problem right here. Today we'll be looking at this outdoor laser measuring device from Millisee, which has a built-in camera so you can easily find a laser and take measurements from any location convenient for you. So if you've been looking for an easy to use outdoor laser measuring device for your work or DIY projects, stick around as I unbox and test this puppy. Alright guys, so when you unbox this puppy, this is everything you get. Now this is the indoor-outdoor long-distance laser measuring device from Millisee, available on Amazon and their website. I'll put links to both of them down below so you can pick which one's best for you. At the time of making this video, this unit retails for $199.99, but I did find some discount coupons, so I'll put them down below, that way you can save yourself even more money. So what do you get when you unbox this guy? Well, you get the measuring device, you get the owner's manual in five different languages, so you should be able to go through that in any language and figure out how to use this guy and set it up. You get a USB charging cable to power this guy up because it does come with three AAA rechargeable batteries. And the convenient thing about that is that they're removable, easily replaceable batteries. Or you could use alkaline batteries if you choose to, if you don't happen to have any rechargeable batteries down the road. But you can always buy new rechargeables, put them in there, and keep on going without having to worry about the batteries going bad on you. So you have a lanyard if you want to hang on to this on your wrist, and you have a nice, sturdy, hard storage case. This guy is nice and hard, so it'll protect it when you have it put away. So let's talk a little more about some of the features on this guy, but before we do that, let me just remind you to hit that subscribe button. That way you get notified every time I do another product review video or a DIY video that you may find useful. So this guy comes with a two-year warranty, and the dimensions on this guy are four and a half inches by two inches by one inch in thickness. Very small, compact, easy to put in your hand, no problem whatsoever. Now this guy only weighs five ounces, and it is IP65 dust and waterproof, which means you can get it a little bit dusty, a little bit dirty, a little wet, etc. But don't think that you can dunk this into a bucket of water and expect it to survive. Don't do that. That would be very bad. Now this guy is a long distance outdoor measuring device with a max distance of 330 feet or 100 meters with an accuracy of plus or minus 1 16th of an inch. So it is pretty darn accurate. Now this guy has a 2.4 inch IPS display and it has a built in easy to use menu for making all your adjustments and calculations, finding exactly what it is that you want to do in the menu. This guy has a built-in point finder camera, so you can easily find and point the laser exactly where you need it to be, even outdoors on a sunny day. It has both white or black background, so you can adjust the display to have it more easily readable, depending on the lighting situation, whatever it is you're experiencing at that moment. The screen also tilts as you tilt or move the device around, so it's easy for you to see the measurements in any position that you're taking them. This unit can take measurements in meters, inches, feet, or feet plus inches. This unit can be connected to the free downloadable Smart Life app to help you store measurement data plus create and share reports. It can store up to a thousand data points and a hundred screenshots. So you can easily add the measurements to the images and share them with colleagues or clients. This unit can be set to take measurements from the front of the unit, the middle of the unit, or the back of the unit, so that way it allows you to adjust to whatever your measuring conditions may be. This unit can take simple measurements, plus it can also take complicated measurements, such as continuous measurements, area, volume, Pythagoras, 2 and 3 point, auto level, trapezoid 1 and 2, add and subtract measurements, triangle area, cylindrical volume, it has auto height, stakeout, and constant setting. So this device is really versatile and convenient for using it as a DIYer or as a professional. You can use it for measuring indoors or outdoors. Take simple or complicated measurements. This device can help you plan your remodeling project for both indoors or outdoors as a DIYer, improving your home, building decks, adding a room or patio or more. 
It can also help the professional take measurements for large or small indoors or outdoor projects. Take complicated measurements and take pictures with measurements for getting your materials list together or when bidding on projects. So this small device has a lot of potential for the DIYer, the contractor, the home decorator, developer, remodeler, or more. So let's take a little closer look at this guy and then we'll set it up and go take some measurements. All right, guys, let's take a little closer look at this device indoors here where it's easy to see and do everything. And then eventually we'll move outdoors and take some measurements outdoors in the bright sunny day. So let's take a little closer look at the unit. You see you have a nice big screen there, very easy to read and so forth. And I'll give you some measurements in a moment so you can see how easy the numbers are. And the unit itself, the controls are all right here on the front. Very easy to understand. Big red button, that's for your measurements. The other red button, that's your camera. The on off button is obviously on off and it also works as a back or clear button. These are two menus over here and these are your selector up and down buttons right there. The menu, that's where you have all the different measurement types that you can pick from. And you can go through volume and square and this, that and the other area and so forth. You can pick the one that's best for you and cycle through it and you go right back to the beginning. Then you back and the other menu is all the different settings in the device itself. Pick the one that you like and adjust it to however you want for whatever it is that you're doing. And it also has a cool one. This one down here, it has a little bubble measuring. There you go. You see you have a bubble laser level there, a bubble level, digital bubble level. Let's call it that. And what you do is you put it on something and there you see it right there. Very convenient. Put it on my bench. My bench is spot on. I did a good job when I built that thing. So that tells you right there, and it tells you the degrees and everything right there. Very easy to understand exactly where you're going and what you need to do to achieve proper leveling. So there you go. Back to this guy. Clear it out again, and there you go. Now, as far as taking measurements, you can take measurements like this or using the camera. So if you're going to use it like this, let's point it to that wall over there, all right? Let's measure from where I am to that wall over there. So what you're going to do is you just press the measure button, and you see the red dot up there? Tells you the laser is active. Point it wherever you want and click the button again. And there you go. It took the measurement. That wall is 15.83 feet away from me. So that's very convenient. And you want to clear it. There you go. Clear. Now to use the camera, there you go. Then let's say I want to take a measurement of that wall again. Pick the spot. Hit the measure button. That'll make it active. You see right there how you're looking right at the dot. You put it wherever you want very conveniently. And you see the dot right in the middle of the crosshairs right there. Click the button and there's your measurement. 15.9 because I aimed it towards the top right now. So it's a little different trying to look at the camera, trying to look at that camera and this camera both at the same time. It's a little bit confusing and difficult to do. But there you go. Now if I clear it, you go back to this and it gives you the numbers right there. Very easy to do. Now, let's do a little bit of different measuring right now. All right, guys, so let's do a little bit of measuring with this guy and see how this guy performs. We're going to use one of the formulas here, and we're going to measure those cabinets over there. We're going to take the length of the cabinet from standing where we are over here, and that's one of the formulas that it has. Let's see how well a job it does. Go into the menu right there. We'll pick that one right there. Click that, and it tells me to take measurement number one. So I have to hold it steady to try to do a good job. So I point the laser right over there. And it's reflecting there. There we go. Put it right there. And we'll take the measurement. And my hand moved a little bit. But I took measurement number one. Now it tells me to move on to number two. Now over two is going to be over there. And let's see. That's 5.1 feet. Now let me take you guys off the tripod. We'll go over there and see what the tape measure says. All right, guys, here we go. That says 5.1 feet. There you go, 5.1 feet. There's a five foot right there. That's about one foot. That was a little bit off because obviously my hand is shaking and so forth, and I'm not doing an extremely accurate reading. That's why I said on the tripod, you get a much better result. But there you go, fairly accurate. I didn't even have to move from 17 feet away from this cabinet, so I did a decent job. All right, guys, so what if we wanted to take a distance measurement from where I'm standing to my shed way over there? Be a little difficult to find the laser in this bright sunlight. So let's take a look. Let me just turn it on right now. Turn on the camera, point it towards the shed. You can see I'm locating the shed right there. 
You can see there's a lot of glare on the screen because it's very sunny out here, even though I'm standing in the shade. So I point it towards the shed and let's see right there, we get 52 feet, one inch. There you go. You can find the shed. You can find the laser pointer even on a bright sunny day. Now let's see, let's take the distance, uh, the length of this shed. When I built this shed, it was like almost 13 feet, 12 point something, almost 13 feet. So let me use the laser pointer right now and try to measure it from end to end and see exactly how much this little guy says that it turns out to be. I'm standing in the shade so that I can show you this indicator because in the bright sunlight, it would just be way too much glare. So pick the formula right there, select the camera and try to select the front tip of it right there. A little hard to show you, like I said, and hold it at the same time. So I click it on the front tip right there. Now let's move it to the back end and you can see I'm not getting it right at the edge. So it's not going to be a hundred percent accurate, but fairly close. So we get right there, take a measurement and what do we get? We get 12.5. So that's pretty darn close to the actual size of the shed. So there you go. All right, guys, there you have it, a review and demonstration of an indoor and outdoor laser measuring device with a built-in camera. I think this is a really useful device. Whether for DIY projects or professional use, this little guy lives up to what it promises. It gives you the ability to measure anything you want from up to 330 feet away from it, plus you also get a camera so you can very easily find your target when using this outdoors. Most laser finders get lost with the bright sunlight, but as you saw, I had no trouble using this guy outdoors on a bright sunny day. Now you probably noticed that I had a little bit of a hard time trying to do the demonstration because I was trying to show you the screen of the device so that it would show up on the video without any glare. The human eye can see the screen much better than the camera can. So when testing it with just my own vision, it was much easier to use than when trying to shoot footage with the camera. And I will also point out that for large distances, it is recommended to use a tripod for greater accuracy. I was doing a demonstration, so accuracy was not of the utmost importance. So if you want to use this for yourself as a DIYer or as a professional, I think you'll find this guy very convenient. Questions, comments, put them down below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye for now.